we are back with the lab this is episode number 24 and i just wanted to let you guys know that the next episode episode number 25 will be our season finale and i really wanted to you know thank you guys for all the support that you showed this year it really meant a lot to me today we are back like i said we got a really good episode lined up for you guys so make sure you sit back grab a snack Let's officially log on and get the show started. Before we get today's show started, I first wanted to shout out the Milwaukee Bucks on winning the NBA title. And how could I forget to mention Giannis Antetokounmpo's name? I said it right. No. I said his name right. Not only did Giannis win the championship, but he was also finals MVP and he even dropped 50 points. I mean, hey, yo, the story doesn't end there. My boy woke up the next day and chose violence by going to Chick-fil-A. Can I have a 50 piece? Sorry, I will put you, uh, can I put your camera? Do you mind or no? Sure. There's 150,000 people watching you right now. Really? Yes. <laughs> so can I, can I have, please, a 50 piece Mac Minis 50 exactly okay. not 51 not 49 <laughs> chicken minis yes 50 and um, let me have a large drink no ice half sprite half lemonade if that's not the most iconic thing that a player could do after winning a title then i don't know what is but all right now that i got that out the way it's time to kick off today's segment and the first story i have for you guys is the most expensive video game of all time. I'm not gonna lie, this is like the craziest story we have for you today. Now on July 9th, a sealed copy of The Legend of Zelda sold for $870,000. Yes, you heard me correctly. I said dollars, not in socks, not in pennies. It sold for dollars. Who, who bought that? See, this news is crazy to me because the most I've spent on a video game is about like $80. And to hear that someone bought Legend of Zelda for 870,000 is just out of this world. But here's the crazy thing. Two days later, this record was shattered by a version of Super Mario 64 that sold for $1.56 million. You heard that correctly. 975, you know where this is going. Let's go a billion. It's 975, but a million. Heritage Live, one I need million. one million. There's my million. Last call at 1.35 and we're gonna sell at 1.3 million 7107 7107 congratulations the release of madden 22 is just around the corner and i think today is the perfect day for us to talk about the best players in this year's game on July 26, EA Sports is supposedly dropping the ratings of their rookies in the game. So what that means is more than likely a few days after, they will announce who this year's 99 overall players are going to be. To close out Madden 21, we had six players that ended with a 99 overall. Guys like Aaron Donald, Devontae Adams, DeAndre Hopkins, you got Patrick Mahomes, Stephon Gilmore, and of course, Kansas City Chiefs tight end, Travis Kelsey. Some of these players might stay 99 in next year's game and some of them might not. I need you guys to get down in the comment section and let me know who you think will start out Madden 22 as a 99 overall player. Don't go anywhere because in just a few seconds, we have our On The Stick segment. And on today's show, I'll be playing NFL 2K5, which is a legendary game to say the least. I'm gonna see you guys after this break. When was the last time you experienced something different? support black owned restaurants. DC has a new home for your favorite songs from the 80s. Tom Petty. Def Leppard. Nobody plays more 80s. Bon Jovi. Prince. 94.7. Madonna. Bruce Springsteen. The Drive. Today for the On The Stick segment, we are about to play one of the most iconic sports games that has ever dropped. NFL 2K5. Yes, I have NFL 2K5 right here in my hands. Now check this out. We all know about Madden dropping football games, but did you know that 2K Sports also dropped a football game back in 2004? Now when this game dropped, this is what our roster looked like. We had Mark Burnell, Patrick Ramsey, and Tim Hasselback as our three quarterbacks. I mean, hey, yo. I'll go ahead and show you guys like the rest of the lineup that Washington had. Clinton Portis, Liddell Betts, 
only the real ones will remember chad morton now when this game dropped it was like my second year in the country so i remember like back then when i used to watch the Washington football team, I used to see like Lavernius Coles, Rod Gardner. Our secondary was insane back in 04. So we had Sean Springs, Fred Smooth, who's wearing number 21. And if you're like, wait a second, wasn't that Sean Taylor's number? Now, if we move on over to strong safety, you see Sean Taylor was number 36. Because when this game came out, it was actually his rookie year. And this is what Sean Taylor looked like in this game. When this game dropped, Terrell Owens was actually the cover athlete. And as you guys see, he had a 100 overall rating. Hey, yo, I think today we're going to have to do Washington against Philadelphia. Let's go up against T.O. and Donovan McNabb. I think that will be a nice little throwback matchup. Before we get to our game, man, I just want to show you guys all the features. As you guys see, I just started a game. And here is the kickoff. This is my perspective as a kicker. I'm slow and I'm scared for my life, but yeah, this game had a first person perspective. Like, what? Another cool feature in this game is the fact that they give you a mansion. And I know mine is a bit empty right now, but basically you could like put up like jerseys, posters. You could switch up your TV in this room because look at mine. It's the size of a hot dog. Fam, look, it's Chris Berman on the screen. Coming up on ESPN, a bit of a drop off in Rod Gardner's numbers in Steve Spurrier's offense last year. This game really came out in 2004. Isn't it unreal? It's been 17 years since this game last dropped and for it to look like this with this presentation, I mean, it's unreal. As you guys see, like the graphics are a bit weird because if we're comparing it to how things look now, hold up, did I just get, oh. <gasps> Not on a first play. Not on a first. That's Terrell Owens. He was 100 overall. Yo, can he stop? This is why I can't talk and play at the same time. Mark Burnell under center. It's about to be a breeze. Just watch. I'm about to cook. Oh, what did I just get myself into? Here we go. Let's lock in. Burnell. Oh, we got a wide open man. Go. That's Rod Gardner. Look at our fans. Is that me in the back? So far, so good. Oh my God, wide open. Wide open. Stop snoozing on us. We had the defense so confused out there. Tio already has three catches for 100 yards. Are you kidding me? They're gonna try to attempt a field goal here before the first half comes to an end and the kick is good. Who is that, David Akers? He has a leg, I'll give him that. 37 seconds, that's plenty of time. I am not tripping. Look at this throw. Boy, if you don't Can get- I just do that? I just gotta make sure they don't score seven. Oh no! Tio is wide open. How? At the half, you guys see the score is 17 to 7. I have a lot of catching up to do. Now, this game does have a Chris Berman halftime show where he goes over not only like what happens with your game, but if you do like a franchise mode, he goes over what happens around the league. It's actually scary how advanced this game was. And as you guys see, the halftime hero so far is Tio with four receptions, 121 yards and two touchdowns. Halftime show is over, we're back here on the field, and it's time for us to try to make a comeback. We're like all the way at like the five yard line, it's first and goal here, Portis punches this one in. Did I just miss the extra? The extra point is this is a huge third down. I got this, I got this, I got this, pick it off. Let's go, at least we got the stop. It's the fourth quarter and there's only like, two minutes left because I'm playing three minute quarters so we really gotta try to score here I don't know how to feel about this the clock keeps ticking it's third and three we gotta convert here and we do do I call a timeout if we made the extra point earlier all we would have needed here is a field goal but instead we need a touchdown now and we just got it by CP himself there's two seconds left everything comes down to this Donovan McNabb is taking a shot deep and it gets picked off by no other than Sean Taylor bro what a way to close this game out look at Sean Taylor what a pick I mean he did this in real life and here he is doing it in NFL 2k5 one of the most legendary football games that has ever come out in my opinion you guys see it man we played against the Eagles and we beat them 20 to 17 and this week's on the stake segment has officially come to an end this episode has come to an end I hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms to stay up to date with all Washington football team news and updates as well as my YouTube channel at on to the boss I'm gonna catch you guys on next week's episode
On the inside, a Honda SUV is comfortable and loaded with technology. But on the outside, a Honda SUV is rugged and built to take on any kind of road. Inside. Outside. Hurry, these SUVs are selling fast. See your local Honda dealer today. On the inside, a Honda SUV is comfortable, spacious, and peaceful. But on the outside, a Honda SUV is rugged, capable, and ready for any kind of adventure. Inside. Outside. Hurry, these SUVs are selling fast. See your local Honda dealer today. DC has a new home for your favorite songs from the 80s. Tom Petty. Def Leppard. Nobody plays more 80s. Bon Jovi. Prince. 94.7. Madonna. Bruce Springsteen. The Drive.